Builders, and I want to show you guys today how a stop limit order works on Binance. So as you know, you have different order types on Binance. You have a market order, a limit order, and you have a stop limit order. You can choose that here. You also have a um, one order cancel the other. However, um, today I want to show you a stop limit order. Um, I will also make a video about the OCO order. Um, I will move the screen here to the side and now you can see it. First of all, you have to understand the difference between a market order and a limit order. A market order basically gets executed immediately. So if you want to buy, let's say 0 0.01 BTC, you can just press buy here and it would be executed immediately to the best price available. Um, the same would be true for a sell order. Um, a limit order is a bit different because you can set a certain price. So you could say, for example, if the price drops to 10,000 USDT, you want to buy 0 0.01 BTC. And that's basically a limit order. So only if the price drops to 10,000 USDT, um, your order will be executed and you will receive 0 0.01 BTC. Um, the order is now in the order book and it will stay there until you either cancel it or until it gets filled. So when the price drops to 10,000 BTC. Um, a stop limit order is kind of similar. Um, you use that in order to avoid these wicks. So a uh, wick is when a price drops very fast within seconds or like increases very fast within seconds. So let's look at an example here. I have, for example, 1.5 BTC in my account here. And let's say I want to sell the BTC if the price drops below 10,000 USDT. Then I could just do a limit order. However, with a stop limit order, I can also set a limit. So let's say the price drops below 10,000 USDT. I want to sell my BTC or at least one BTC for at least 9,900 USDT. So if you do that, you're actually making sure that you receive at least 9,900 USDT for um, the one BTC you are selling. So sometimes it could happen if the price drops within seconds that there are no buy orders and then your BTC can be sold for like way less than the 10,000 USDT here. So it could easily happen that it gets sold for 9,000 or 8,000 something um, if there are no buy orders. And with a stop limit order, you are just making sure that you at least we receive a certain amount. So let's say the price drops below 10,000 USDT here and you have a limit order for at least 9,900 USDT like we have here and the current market price would be 9,999 and then it would actually get sold for 9,999 USDT and not for 9,900 USDT. So it's still tries to get the best price available, but it makes sure that you don't drop below a certain price. So the order would not be executed if you can't reach at least that price. Um, so that's just a certain mechanism to avoid these wicks when the price drops very fast within seconds. I hope that explains and the stop limit order to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comments down below. And if you don't have a Binance account yet, please feel free to use the link in order to save 10% on fees for a lifetime. Thanks for watching.